here. Uh, no, no, over, over here. That's right, up here. Phew. Hi. Hey, we've got a very secretive investigation today. So I'll need you to raise your right hand and swear that what you see will stay just between us, okay? <laughs> Great. Because I was wandering through central Otago and all of a sudden I came across this huge pile of G-O-L-F. <laughs> hey? Oh, <laughs> sorry, I mean G-O-L-D. Oh. This stuff here. Look. Oh. It's gold, and it's absolutely beautiful. Oh, I love gold. It's just so, so gold. But I didn't expect to see it lying around here like this. So I wonder, where does gold come from? It comes from, um, from under the sea and in caves, rivers or lakes. Some are made out of painting gold. Um, gold comes from mines. A gold mine? Um, gold comes from a gold mine. Under the ground. In the olden days, um, pirates used to um, used to look for treasures. Pirates have a new treasure chest. You know, you could be right. And the time is right to investigate gold. Hey, I know we're talking about gold, but maybe that's taking it a little bit too far. Come on, back to normal. There, that's better. Now, I think this gold came from outer space and landed here overnight. And you know what? It's worth lots of money. <laughs> And if there's any more of it, I want to find it. Oh, and because you're going to help, I might just share a little bit with you, OK? So stick around. Hmm, the gold just sits here. It arrives, it sits, it waits. I wonder, what if it starts out as a rock? Yeah, a rock sits there for ages and ages and ages with a golden hot sun beating down on it until all of a sudden it's full of sun and turns to gold. What do you think about that? No good? Back to the drawing board. Gold has been around for ages and ages and has always been very highly respected. That's Mr and Mrs Gold to you. It's been used for money and for decoration. It's a very rare element and highly sought after by people since ancient times. And that's because it's a soft metal and it's normally found in a pure form. Now a lot of other metals can be found in rocks but not gold. When you find gold, you find gold. So maybe that's why we have lots of sayings like, good as gold. It's a golden opportunity, and all that glitters is not gold. All that glitters is not gold? Oh, that gives me an idea. Oh, yes, to run a good race and win a gold medal. no less. If you're looking for gold, the answer is running by. It's not in a race, but making wet sounds nearby. Running by, but not in a race. And making wet sounds? Hmm. I know. Yes, it's Jeffrey the Labrador. Oh, he's not running though. And he is making very wet sounds. Oh, I wonder. Aha! Walk this way. Well, it is running by. And it is definitely wet. I have been waiting here for ages 
and I have not seen a skerrick of gold. Not one carrot. Oh, very funny. Did you put those there? Because quite frankly, that's not the kind of carrot I'm talking about. I'm talking about the measurement of gold's purity. 100% gold is 24 carats. But I think the only kind of carrots we're going to see today are the vegetable kind. So come on, let's get out of here. Hey, what's this? Another clue? Use this shovel and dig it. Put it into the pan, swirl it, twirl it with some water. Do it, do it if you can. All right, let's do it. Uh, who's going to do the shoveling and digging? I know. Pig, snout, walk, out. Oh, well, no, no, that's fine. I wanted to do the shoveling and digging because this could be my golden opportunity. All that glitters might just be gold. So, you want to see some gold? Well, feast your eyes on this here pan. One shovel full of riverbed gravel, swirled and twirled with water. And what have we got? <laughs> Look at it. Enough gold to make a ring or a bracelet. So now we know that gold comes from the earth. How did this gold get here? A long, long time ago, deep underground in the rocks of the earth, there was gold. This gold was carried in auriferous rocks, that's gold-bearing rocks, and through heat and water coming closer to the Earth's surface. Erosion, well that's the wearing away of some of the upper levels of Earth, left the gold layer closer to the surface. Some of the gold which was closer to the surface got carried by water into rivers and streams where it hid. Yes, hid until the force of a shovel loosened it and I, Susie Cato, panned it. And that's the end of the gold story. Now the gold that was panned today is called alluvial gold and it's carried along by streams and rivers. Now because the gold is so soft it gets jostled about by the water and the rocks and gets broken into small pieces. But like I've always said, gold doesn't come in large parcels. In fact, it doesn't come in parcels at all. Now we know it comes from the earth. Let me tell you about the golden rules of finding gold. First of all, find a good spot. Now I knew this was a good spot because this is Gorge Creek in central Otago. And central Otago was the first place to have gold discovered back in 1861. Now, you need a bend in the river, just like this. Because remember, gold is a dense metal, and as it's carried along by the river, it likes to snuggle into river bends and sink to the gravel at the bottom. Voila! That's where I found my gold. So, where does gold come from? Well, alluvial gold comes from gravel at the bottom of river beds. Maybe you could do some of your own gold finding, or find out where else gold comes from. Maybe you have some questions you'd like answered on Susie's World. You can write to us at Susie's World, PO Box 34307, Birkenhead, Auckland, or email me at susie at treehut.com. Or go check out your local library. They have lots of information there. Well, I'm going to leave this gold here. Take only photos, leave only footprints. So it's Takite from Central Otago. New Zealand On Air, we couldn't have done it without you.